fighting games. A genre that gets straight to the point. It's the chess of video games, as I like to say. Well, aside from virtual chess. Your move, bishop to knight four. My move, knight to rook three. Poor baby, you're starting to lose it, aren't you? Unlike actual chess, though, you have the most hype, adrenaline pumping tunes to kick some major ass to, and a whole army of awesome characters to do so with. But playing against the cheesy CPU is only fun for so long. It's better to bring a friend. Checkmate. Checkmate. That brings us to today's topic. Guest characters seem to be all the rage now more than ever before. So today, with so many functions to choose from, on Mad Panic Gaming, we are counting down the top 10 fighting game guest characters. Number 10, Alien vs. Predator in Mortal Kombat X. The recent Mortal Kombat games have been no stranger to filling out its guest list, from horror icons to action movie stars. While I almost think Jason or Freddy deserve this spot for being a perfect fit for the gnarly flesh pits, it would have been more perfect to have Freddy vs. Jason in the same game. So, number 10 goes to Alien and Predator. Maybe two is cheating, but go ahead and consider one number 11. Because hot damn, these two belong together. And the perfect organism and the ultimate hunter more than belong in Mortal Kombat. Hunting down their prey in the most gruesome fashion. And we actually get to see Alien versus Predator. Unlike in the movie Requiem, you couldn't see jack shit. Number 9, Viking in Samurai Showdown. If there was ever a character and a separate fighting game series that were made for each other. Guilty Gear's Biken and Samurai Showdown is a match made in heaven or hell. Take your pick. Either way, this chick is a one-eyed, one-armed, and well-endowed samurai that fits the bill. Fits it as well as her goods fit into her kimono. I'm of course talking about her demon tools. Biken has a lot of her trademark tricks up her sleeve, literally. A mace, a cannon, a bladed fan, a spear, and her chain rope and claw. She's a force to be reckoned with in this bloody weapon-based fighter. And there's nothing guilty about the pleasure I get seeing the blood splatter across those shoji doors. It's heavy metal meets heavy steel, and it rocks. Number eight, Akira Kazama in Street Fighter V. It's no secret that Final Fight, Rival Schools, and Street Fighter are all in the same universe with Final Fight characters practically becoming mainstays and Sakura having been in rival schools. Well, it was high time that one of Sakura's high school friends joined the fray. And who we got was the badass biker chick, Akira Kazama, ready to take everybody back to school with her trademark fighting style. Retaining a lot of her classic moves, she wrecks her opponents at close range. Or should I say, Rekka's her opponents. If that wasn't enough, she can summon her brother Daigo to get in on the action. So that's two Rival Schools characters making their Street Fighter debut. And with any luck, 
we'll be seeing them again in Street Fighter VI and maybe, just maybe one day, a new rival schools. <laughs> <laughs> what a thrill to see a human on the brink of death! Rise of the Senses! <laughs> Number 7, Halmaru. They put Guilty Gear in our Sam Show. So why not Sam Show in our Guilty Gear? No? Okay, well then how about in Soul Calibur 6? Samurai Showdown is my favorite SNK fighter. And the poster boy, Haomaru, is my guy. So he was bound to make this list. The crude but honorable samurai likes his drink, and his blade reads Namu Amida Batsu, a phrase recited to achieve rebirth in the pure land after death. And that's exactly where this ronin plans on sending his new competition. And Haomaru brings plenty of his classic sauce from his homeland. Got my sword and my sauce! Packing plenty of his Ronin techniques, power slashes, and defensive mechanics. And word on the stage of history has it that Haomaru can slice clean an entire mountain. But when it comes right down to it, he's still willing to let his fists do the talking. <laughs> no need. Number six, oh my. It's my and dead or alive five and six. Sometimes it all comes down to the plot. So who better for a game of dead or alive than the bombastic my Shira Nui and all of her lovely assets. Personally, when it comes to guest characters from other series, I find it more interesting when they pick from the sidelines, like Kula Diamond here who's actually my favorite between the two characters. But it's hard to argue against the iconic Fatal Fury Ninja. Mai's playstyle is reminiscent of her 2D appearances. She still floats like a butterfly and stains like a bee. If that bee were made of scorching hot fire, the Queen of Fighters Mai is a well-rounded character and remains one of the most recognizable female characters for a reason. Make that two reasons. Three, which is more than enough reason why Mai is number six. Baby's got back. You're about two seconds from wearing that smile around your ass. Number five, Spawn in Mortal Kombat 11. One of the greatest comic book characters of all time and one of the darkest. Todd McFarlane's Spawn is no stranger to fighting games. Having appeared as an Xbox exclusive in Soul Calibur 2, you already knew that. And I guess that was because the color green. I suppose that makes it a match made in heaven, but this is Spawn we're talking about, and he's come straight out of hell. So what better game for such a soul than Mortal Kombat? First rumored, for MKX, then Injustice 2, but it wouldn't be until 11 that he finally spawned. Unlike past video game appearances, Spawn has his cape for once, and it's packing a whole lot of heat. Al Simmons puts all combatants on notice, ripping opponents apart limb from limb with his chains and pumping clowns full of lead. What's more is Keith David returns to reprise his role. And yes, this time he really is Keith David. No more jokes, no more laughs. Sounds like you've got a case of the grumps. I fucking hate clowns. It's a Spawn fan's dream come true. I just wish that the game itself didn't have the issue of randomized unlockables and the moveset limitations. But despite how the game violates its players, Spawn is quite the redeemer. Number 2, 
Number four, Sarah Bryant in Dead or Alive. Some say Virtual Fighter is the greatest fighting game of all time. But even if you don't agree, you damn sure gotta respect it. Virtual Fighter is the quintessential fighter. No crazy special moves, no rage arts, just pure fighting goodness. And a wide range of real styles represented. Virtual Fighter is a game that's easy to play, but oh so hard to master. It may have fallen into obscurity, but it's a series of legendary status. The recent re-release and remaster of Virtual Fighter 5 marked its inevitable return, with Virtual Fighter 6 now said to be in development. Before that, however, was Virtual Fighter characters appearing in Dead or Alive, with Akira, Jackie, Pi, and Sarah Bryant being added to what is already a robust roster. Now, honestly, any one of these Virtual Fighter characters could take this spot, especially the VF poster boy, Akira. But this is dead or alive, so I had to go with the blonde bombshell, Sarah Bryant. She's basically Virtual Fighter's Chun-Li, and in similar fashion, Sarah kicks her way to victory and looks damn good in the color blue. Better run home to mama now. My only my friend is your goods. Should've given those soul caliber fighters a right stick. But that sword you're using, pardon my pun, ain't gonna cut it, mate. Toss that dodgy dagger and take hold of this. And now number three, Link in Soul Calibur 2. We all knew this one was coming. You can't talk about fighting game guest characters, much less Soul Calibur 2, without bringing up the one who popularized the entire trend and got everybody talking. While Xbox got Spawn and the PlayStation 2 got Tekken's Heihachi, neither were more befitting for the tale of souls and swords than the hero of time, Link, who quite literally transcends history and the world in his very own franchise. Equipped with his trusty master sword, Hylian shield, a pocket full of bombs, arrows, and a handy boomerang, all while bringing a change of clothes for a variety of environments. Link hook shots his way to number three, and he does it with the greatest of ease. But if he's number three, Who's next? And now it's time for number two, Akuma. I might have Akuma at number two. However, Akuma may arguably be the greatest crossover character of all time, at least in terms of sheer volume. The raging demon Akuma first appeared as a secret boss in 1994 Street Fighter II Turbo and has been a popular mainstay in that series ever since. One of the only characters to rival Ryu when it comes to power, Akuma went on to be a secret boss again in X-Men Children of the Atom, which paved the way for X-Men vs. Street Fighter to then appear as Mecha Akuma in Cyberbot's Full Metal Madness, another Capcom fighter. But what's even matter is when Akuma ventured outside of Capcom to enter the cane of the Iron Fist Tournament in Tekken 7. But that's not the mad part. Akuma was featured prominently in Tekken 7's story, trading fists with Heihachi in what was one of the most badass moments and reveal trailers that shocked the fighting game scene. And now because of Akuma, Street Fighter is confirmed canon in the Tekken universe. While in vice versa, Tekken does still remain, 
not canon in Street Fighters. Regardless though, the beast from the east, Akuma, destroys his opponents in Tekken 7 with his fireball pressure and the fact that he says to hell with your 3D movement. Akuma is not playing Tekken. Tekken is playing Akuma. All that is why the ultimate Shoto takes number two. Results. Number one in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. That's right, it's the super fighting robot Mega Man. Now maybe I'm a little biased here, but hear me out. It goes without saying Smash Brothers is king when it comes to having guest characters. Not to mention shocking reveals, bringing forth collaborations we never would have thought possible in decades past. From Cloud Strife to a mascot of whom used to be Nintendo's greatest rival. But around that time that Sega and Nintendo were button heads, Mega Man was a staple for Nintendo's consoles. One that played a massive role in defining the NES. And he did so with numerous quality titles that pushed the hardware to its limits and continued making remarkable games in the Super Nintendo era. Not gonna lie, I waited a long time for this crossover to happen since after the first game on Nintendo 64. I still remember the days I'd plop down in front of the old fat computer monitor, dial up America Online, welcome, you've got pictures, and scavenge the web for any information on the upcoming Melee. And I crossed my fingers that my favorite character of all time would make it in. And this is before they even started doing guest characters. I didn't give a shit about that. I just thought surely he deserved to be there. But alas, it was not yet to be. Then again with Brawl, I crossed my fingers to see the red and blue together again, only to see Mario shaking hands with his greatest nemesis. It wasn't the blue bomber, it was the blue blur. It wouldn't be until Smash for the Wii U that the moment I had been waiting for since 1999 would come to pass. The epic trailer dropped and the blue robotic superhero arrived at last, bringing together the red, the white, and the blue. And if Mario and Sonic are the Arnold and Stallone of platformers, then Mega Man is Van Damme. Van Damme's not American, you say, we'll explain this. You have made me a happy man. Next. I'll make you a dead one. Yeah! Don't worry about the weak analogies. The point is the super fighting robot was back. Braining things full circle 27 years in the making and he could not have been handled more perfectly. His unorthodox controls and play style suit him to a T, even more than his own inclusions in Capcom's Versus series. Equipped with numerous special weapons from across many games, from Dr. Wily to Dr. Mario, Mega Man has come to kick ass, chew bubblegum, and ultimately become what he was always destined to be, the greatest fighting game guest character of all time. And he's all out of gum. The city offers its congratulations, Mega Man, for a job well done. The credit goes to all of us. Even me? Even you, Roll. And my faithful robot dog, Rush. Hey, fetch, Rush! <laughs> Sometimes I'm not too sure Rush's circuits are wired correctly. <laughs> hey, boy, come on! <laughs>